What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, we're gonna be going over everything that's happening with treasury rates right now, and more importantly, how you can capitalize off of this situation. We have a really great episode for everyone today. Now, here's the thing though. Um, this whole topic is a little bit complex, so uh, please just stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna explain it as simple as I can. But like I said, overall, we have a great video. And if you stick around to the end, there should be a lot of great information to help you in the market for the next coming weeks. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video. So I'm sure if you've been paying attention to the markets over the past couple weeks, you've seen headlines that look something like this. U.S. Treasury yields climb sharply or the 10-year Treasury yield jumps to its, high, to its highest level in more than a year. And then at the same time, you see the NASDAQ especially really pull back in tech stocks like Tesla, Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft all pull back significantly and you're probably wondering all right why are tech stocks like this you know why is tesla having a 35 percent pullback from highs while the dow is breaking new highs every single day this week so that that's basically what we're gonna be talking about in this video so if we go back to let's say the nasdaq right we said like we said it had a pretty big pullback and the main reason for this is because treasury yields are rising sharply. And we can see that this is the U.S. 10-year treasury. This is super, super important for, one, the stock market, but also for the economy overall. Uh, interest rates play a huge role in how people use their money, how they invest it, and also how they value companies. So, you know, I'm sure like in everyone's day-to-day -day lot, in everyone's day-to-day um, life, you know, you're going to see mortgage rates rise and there's like, you know, interest rates play a huge role um, in many aspects of life. But uh, in this video, we're going to be focusing more on the stock market. So we could see back when COVID first hit back in March of 2020, um, interest rates just tanked, right? Uh, they tanked, the feds did that to help stimulate the economy and, you know, help the economy just recover overall. So when they did that, um, everyone said, you know what? I don't want to invest in a 10 year treasury and get a 0.58% return when, you know, like who, who wants a 0.58% return? So everyone said, you know what? Um, I'm definitely not going to invest in treasuries. What I'm going to do instead is invest in the stock market. And what we saw is the stock market absolutely explode, especially tech stocks. So we could see the NASDAQ did amazing this year. And certain stocks like Tesla just flat out exploded. Like Tesla went from $70 all the way up to $900. We saw Apple go from $53 all the way up to $145. So there was just crazy growth overall because nobody wanted to invest in treasuries where they were going to get basically no return. So instead, they invested in the stock market. Market so they can get a higher return and that's exactly what happened but now that we're starting to see treasuries rise again people are you know rethinking their um, investment decisions in the tech sector so we're seeing just some crazy crazy valuations especially in the tech sector tesla went from 70 dollars to 900 that is just absolutely insane and whether you like tesla for the long term or you don't you have to admit that they have a crazy high valuation and their stock price just exploded this year. And I'm a huge fan of Tesla, but you know, I'm going to say um, their stock price is pretty overpriced. And I think that there's a good chance that we might see it fall more um, over the next couple weeks, the next couple months, depending on how treasuries move. Overall, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Tesla for the long term. I think they're going to do great, but they are they're, they have a very high valuation. So uh, back to what I was saying, since treasury rates are rising, people are rethinking their investment decisions in the tech sector. And they're saying, you know what? Tax or, uh, stocks are very volatile. Um, you know, Tesla can go up to 1100 or it could go down to 400. You know, there's a lot of volatility and there's risk in the stock market. But with treasuries, they are backed by the U.S. government and they're basically risk free. So they're like, you know what? Um, a lot of people are just selling out of tech because the valuations are so high and they're shifting into safer assets like one treasuries could be one, but also stocks that like stocks in the Dow that have not fully recovered yet. Like if we look at KO or Walmart or Johnson and Johnson or like even Pfizer or Home Depot or Boeing, especially like Boeing did amazing. I mean, this thing's up 6% today over the past couple of weeks. It went from about 190 all the way up to basically 270. So um, we're just seeing a big transition out of tech and into stocks that have lower PE ratios. So Tesla's PE ratio or 
price to earnings ratio is, let me pull it up right here. It is 1,100 to one. So, for, so basically to, if you want to invest in Tesla, you have to pay $1,100 to just get $1 of Tesla's earnings. Where if you look at KO, you only have to put up $28 to get $1 of their earnings. So you could clearly see that there's a huge difference between those. And it, and it just goes back to the crazy valuations I was talking about across the tech sector. So long story short, because bond rates are rising, people are getting a little scared and they're saying, you know what, I want to, you know, just shift out of um, the sector that has basically exploded because um, yields have been so low. So at this point, you're probably wondering, all right, well, why are, why are rates rising? You know, what's going on? And there's a couple reasons and it is a very complex answer. But the main thing is inflation. So we all know that there was a lot of stimulus money um, passed over the past uh, year, a lot of money injected into the economy. And with the combination of that, along with the economy reopening again, there's a lot of fears that inflation is going to rise. And the absolute worst enemy for any bond investor is inflation. So they're looking at this data and, and they're saying, you know what? I don't want to hold bonds if you know if we're about to see if there's a decent chance that we're going to see a lot of inflation. So they're selling out of bonds, right? And that's making yields rise. So that's why we're seeing this transition in the with the rates, right? So overall, if we look back on this 10-year Treasury chart, we could see over the past five years rates are still pretty low. Like in general, a 1.6% uh, interest rate is pretty low in general. Like we could see back in 2018, the rates were what? Basically 3%. And this year they hit lows of about half a percent. And right now they're sitting at 1.6%. Overall, they're still pretty low. But the, the worry is not at the interest rate, it's how fast rates are moving. In the past three months, um, rates went from about 0.9% all the way up to 1.6%. So people are worried like, are we going to see rates at 2.5% in a couple months from now? And that's where people are really just freaking out. So um, that's the main reason, the main, uh, the main reason we're seeing a lot of tech stocks pull back and rates move so crazy. And then also at the same time, while we're seeing Dow, while we're seeing just the Dow straight up explode. So at this point, you're probably wondering, all right, this is a lot of great information, but you know, how do I make money off this? And, you know, even though tech stocks are selling off, like, you know, do I buy tech stocks now? Like, like what's the move? And it really depends on how rates move. But in general, bank stocks will really benefit off of everything going on, like especially with rates rising. But here's the thing. Um, if you're not already in bank stocks, um, you may have already missed the move. But there is there are still more ways to capitalize um, off of everything going on. So bank stocks have just been going on a tear over the past couple months. I personally think it's a little bit late for it, but there are other sectors. So um, one thing overall that I like is I really like uh, the Dow stocks overall, like KO, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Home Depot, Walmart. Like these are all great setups and they don't have crazy high price to earnings ratio. So even if we see a lot more volatility with rates, um, these stocks will hold their value pretty well. And you know, you're not going to see um, 20% days up on Walmart like you will with Tesla, but Walmart will be a lot safer. And overall, it should definitely be able to handle all of the volatility that we've been seeing with uh, interest rates lately a lot better than a stock like Tesla will. So overall, uh, just look for like Dow stocks that, you know, have lower price to earnings ratios. So overall, it's better when rates are low for the economy. It makes it um, easier for people to borrow money. So let's say you are looking to kind of play the movement with uh, these treasury rates. So basically, if you think these rates will continue to go up, um, one way to capitalize off of this, like playing TLT puts or something like that, if you think these rates will fall, you can always play TLT calls. But I just thought I'd bring this up if you wanted to uh, you know, play some calls or puts on that. But Overall, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Like I said, this is a very, very complex topic 
there's it's very complex and I hope I explained it in an easy to understand way but you know there's there's just a lot of crazy things going on in the market right now um, overall the safest way to go would be to uh, stocks that have lower PE ratios and if you kind of want to mess around with the movement with these rates you can always check out TLT they have some pretty liquid chains for um, you know options obviously so uh, overall I hope you guys gained some value from this video um, if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe but other than that Thanks for watching.